Hey guys, it's Angela here and I am back today to show you guys this gorgeous, summery, glowy, bronzy look I've been loving lately. So um, I'm also trying out uh, the new Born This Way concealer and I'm also wearing my new lipstick and I'm also trying a new sponge. So, if you guys like this look, please keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Hmm? Do you like what you see? <laughs> and I apologize in advance, um, you know, for the extra noise because I explained to you why there's extra noise. Uh, life is not perfect. So, I don't have a soundproof house. <laughs> Anywho. Thank you so much for watching and um, keep watching. Mwah. See ya. Hello everyone. So I'm gonna start with um, kind of a get ready with me and a first impression of the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. So I haven't opened this and I got this last weekend. Uh, yeah. I'm really excited to try this so let's go and I'm also going to try a couple of other products that are new um, I've been wearing this lipstick obsessed and the LC cosmetics sponge look at this thing uh, looks pretty cool I, I was um, reading comments online I won't say what people are saying this looks like but it was pretty funny anywho I'm excited to try it I made this wet so it was a little bit smaller and um does feel d different than a beauty blender so I feel like I'm cheating on my beauty blender but I'm excited to try this so I'm gonna go in with my Armani luminous silk foundation it is my favorite and I'm gonna mix in some Marc Jacobs dew drops I'll link everything below and so I'm gonna make a little mixture like this and I'm just gonna mix it around my mirror and I'm going to just do my foundation like usual so I'm using my favorite foundation instead of my everyday foundation because I really wanted to see how um, what's it called uh, I really like the size of this how the what's it called the concealer the new concealer um, Holds up with my favorite foundation, which is this one. So, side note guys, I'm sorry I've been MIA, and if anyone was wondering where I was. <laughs> so, I didn't, I didn't want to make a video after June 13th because I had gotten a lash lift and I had gotten a perm before and I hated it because it really, really like over curled my lashes and I was like, uh, this looks stupid. It, it is not is not giving me life <laughs> it's just making me feel like i don't have any lashes so i'm just gonna yeah i got the lash lift and i was really excited because i heard and i saw pictures online and it was like better than a perm and so that's what i was looking for and when i did it when i first looked in the mirror it looked amazing and then <sighs> the like after 24 hours it didn't look amazing it looked like i had no lashes my lashes um i have decent lashes and you know what they say you don't know what you have till it's gone and um that was definitely the case for me i was really sad because my lashes were so curled up um i don't know if you, they're still pretty curled like they're curled uh, but not as curled as before where they looked like one big fat lash. So anywho, that's the reason why I did not want to make a video because I'm like, uh, my lashes look like shit. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. Now let's get to this. Enough of my yapping. I have not opened this or anything. So... I've heard really good things about this. I'm just gonna go lightly and build my way up. I got the color in natural beige. Let's see. 
I really like this little point that this sponge has. I really like this part. Ooh. The coverage looks pretty good. As you guys could see, I have nasty ass dark circles that I hate. So, this is good so far. It's definitely full of coverage, I feel. I've been using Tape Shape since it came out. And I love that concealer. But of course, who doesn't like trying new things? So, it's pretty good. Hmm. I like, I like that. I really like this point on the sponge. So, LC Cosmetics, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. This sponge was sold out for ages and people were leaving bad reviews on this sponge just because it was sold out. But they like love the sponge. So it finally came back in stock. And I can see why people really like the sponge. It does feel different than my beauty blender. It's like a little more bouncier. And like, I don't know. And they, and um, LC Cosmetics said that um, they have improved the quality of it because I did read reviews of the old one and people were like, oh, I'm getting holes in my sponge. I'm probably not in that voice. <laughs> definitely, definitely full coverage. I'm really liking it. I kind of just spread it all over because it's you could it says conceal, contour, highlight, retouch. Um, it says uh, that has coconut water in it, alpine rose, hydrochloric acid, um, hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly. And um, yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, I can't wear this all night because it's, uh, what time is it? It's like eight-ish eight, eight -ish or something. And then I'm going to bed after this. <laughs> Shit, so freaking broke. So I'm just gonna set it with um, the powder. I really wanna try the new Huda the beauty um baking powders i've heard good things i heard there's a smell to it and that's something that i don't like smells and things i remember about the cinema secrets powder and it smelled so strong that i was like i cannot even deal so i returned it so i'm not like doing super over baking because um i don't need to right now but i did i'm doing Art a jacobs um, coconut bronzer. Smells amazing. Amazing. So, some on my forehead. So, yeah, that was my story about lash lifting. I think I'm done playing around with my lashes for now. I always want to get, um, extensions but they're so high maintenance that I don't even bother well why is my lighting turning like that so what I'm gonna do is um, show you my um, eyebrows so the freaking eyebrow lady made my eyebrows way too thin last time I was there and so I've been loving this uh, hourglass. Uh oh. It just really gives me a really nice, natural looking brow. Kind of make, like, I have decent brows, but this just helps out a lot more. So. Look at that. She made this so thin. What in the hell? Do you guys see this? It's so natural. Well, to me it is. <laughs> Maybe some people are like, natural? Um, so I'm just gonna build this up. When I first got this product, I was like, this thing is shit. It's not doing anything, but you really just have to build it up and play with it. What I like about this one compared to the Dior one that I bought recently is um, it's a little more thicker and not as liquidy as that one. So it's like, Somewhat easier to control, that makes sense. 
So I really, really have been enjoying this a lot. So luckily I have decent brows, but this just adds like a nice, nice touch. You know what? I think I'm going to turn off these lights and see if that looks better. Be right back. Can you guys tell me what light you like better? Like, do you like it like this better or before? Because I still don't know. It's the LC Cosmetic Bronzer. I used the Marc Jacobs one to like contour. This I'm going to add a little more color to my face. Looks like this. And nice bronzy highlight action. I mean highlight bronzing action going on I really like to use my bronzer as um, blush as well so just adding more color and I'm just going to blend with this big big brush I'm actually gonna dust off the powder I don't like to bake for too long so I'm just going to blend with this big powder brush just to make sure everything looks nice and blended. And I really like this concealer so far. And what I love about it is how big it is. Sorry, my hair is everywhere. Um, like they're giving you so much product compared to all the other um, people out there, it's even bigger than Shape Tape. So I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs palette. I'm going to keep it simple. It's just like for a nice summer, summery look. I'm loving this color. It's like this beautiful, you guys know I'm into warm tones. It's like this beautiful orangey. And I'm just going to use my finger because this is like I don't want to spend too much time on my eyes right now. So it's like a nice pop of color. I'm just going to keep this very easy. Uh oh. Easy peasy here. Like this color is so gorgeous though. Look at it. It's right here at this one. You got some on the bottom of my eye. I'll fix it. So we're keeping it simple. Not going crazy today. So here's that. I kind of like it at the bottom now that it accidentally got there. I got a little hint. Right guys? What do you think? It, it was like a pretty accident. <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my eyelashes and well if you could see them. I'm gonna zoom in guys. Look. They look so short and stubby, but I swear I have good lashes. So anyways, I'll be right back. I'm going to just do my lashes and um eyeliner and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I uh tried to fix my little stubby lashes still. Um so, what I'm going to do is also take this LC Cosmetics palette, and um, I should have done this before, but I got carried away. And I'm just going to take this color and kind of just warm up my crease a bit. Just a little bit, just so there's somewhat of a transition. Uh, my husband just got home and he needs to shower. So, again, I apologize about the extra noises in this video. I need a bigger house. <laughs> um, so I really like this. I'm just going to go a little underneath. And I'm also going to take some of this and I'm just going to put it on my brow bone. Oh my god, I really think I hear her shower. This is ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this same uh, palette for my blush. And uh, la 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 la, let me hurry up. 
So I'm going to use this um, bright color right here. Apples of my cheeks. And so we're almost done. I'm really loving this concealer. Like usually I still see some shadows um, even with my shape tape. And this is doing a really great job. Anywho, so I'm also going to highlight my favorite. This color, I like to mix them. And I like to kind of put them kind of by my cheek as well, but move up. So mix, cheek, move up. Mix, cheek, move up. And I'm also going to use some of this bright pink. I love to mix blushes and bronzers. You kind of make your own custom color, which I really like doing. Use this Hourglass um, Ambient Light Palette. And I'm just going to go with, um, oops, oopsies. I'm going to take all three of them. I'm just going to do a little super Whoa. And I'm just going to put it all over. This gives a really nice glowy finish. Hourglass is expensive, but I swear to you, it's worth every penny. Their stuff is like butter on your face. Butter. So I'm not contouring my nose right now because it's just like an easy summery look. So the summer part comes in and that is this brand new spanking lipstick that I bought. Um, it's called Peach Beach. I uh, got it at the Sephora Weekly Wow sale and it's ten, it was $10.50. And it smells like peaches. I love it. So I'm going to put this on. I love this color. So it is a matte lipstick, but it's not too matte. Seriously, this like brings everything to life. And Capri Coast, so I want more of a glow. I'm just going to like... More and more, more is more. A little on my nose. Do you guys see this? I'm liking it. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the Golden Hour Sephora highlight, and I am going to really highlight my base more. This is a gorgeous one. You guys know I like looking like Rudolph. I'm gonna do a little on my brow bone. Just like get that really nice summery glow. Who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like that? Um, so this is, I'm gonna put my, um, this is really it. Like I'm so distracted, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today. It's Thursday. I'm really happy that it's Friday tomorrow. So, anywho, um, I'm gonna put my nose thing in. Oh, shit. You guys, losing this is so hard to find because they're so freaking little. And I've lost plenty of them. And this is my last one. So I can't lose it. There we go. So, this is the finished look. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm really loving this. I'm, I'm surprised at how great it is. Like, I know I haven't worn it, but my first impression uh, is really, really great right now. I'm loving it. Um, it just looks really nice. I like it a lot. Oh. So, guys, I know my grays are freaking out of control. I'm not even that old. I really am not that old. And my gray hair have gone bonkers. Like, I went from having one gray hair when I was 21 to 50 million gray hairs. Uh, I won't say how old I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm 31 now. And um, it's just been like a nightmare. And when I colored my hair, 
it made it even worse. I was trying to cover like a couple of grays and it like imploded them into 50 million more grays. The good thing is they're like hidden under here. And um, I even bought that at home rude touch up kit. But I just like, I'm lazy and I don't want to do this. I'm not that old yet. <laughs> it sucks. Um, anyways, I'm going to go rambling on. But I hope you guys like this a uh, summery glowy look i'm really really loving it i've been wearing this lipstick every day since i got it practically and um yeah so i hope you guys liked this i hope it turned out okay i'm sorry for being mia i wish i didn't have to work 40 hours a week so then i could devote more time to this but i'll try to be more consistent and thank you so much for watching I really appreciate all of you guys and really appreciate everything, all the likes and all that jazz. So thank you, thank you, and um, I'll be back. Mwah. Bye.